I'm over myself as a lawyer. I really have died. And it really is Galatians 2.20. It's no longer Ted who lives, it's Christ who lives in me. Yeah. And, and if Jesus was walking amongst us, he would be asking for a justice to set the captives free, right. to, to bring people to a saving knowledge, to introduce them to the Father, to bring forgiveness, to bring generational reconciliation, to be part of this generational restorative process that we're advocating for where they strategically place their child in a two-parent loving, and for the most part, their Christian homes. Mm. And when you make that choice as a, as a father, you really have no other choice to make. But when you do that, you get the promises that scripture says that when you give, right. imagine this man that's incarcerated, when you give, it will be given back to you in right. good measure, pressed down, shaken, right. and, and you are entitled to be blessed. So right. we're actually advocating more for our enemy, which is an interesting application of of Matthew 5:44 that says to love your enemies and pray for them. Like, what does that mean as a yes. lawyer? Right. I was confounded. I don't think and, there are a lot of lawyers doing that, if I uh, had to guess. It took me years to kind of like yeah. figure this out. That's so brilliant. But when you do it God's way, yeah. you get a justice that just brings peace. And really the ultimate thing is love to a broken yeah. world. And yeah. you restore these broken individuals and we get to have this child placed in a two-parent loving home.